Yo, what's up my G's, this is Christian and in this video I'm going to show you a few JavaScript apps that you should be building, in my opinion, if you want to learn the skills to build a portfolio, okay? So these apps are made for you to learn how to build applications, if that makes sense. So in my previous videos, I mentioned the fact that there are multiple stages that you need to go through from zero all the way to hero, okay? You have the baby chicken phase where it's like you don't know anything and you are learning a bunch of things randomly and you don't know what's happening then you have the duck phase where you know a bunch of things uh you know about uh, stuff about javascript you know stuff about html you know stuff about css etc etc but you are not really experienced with it, with any of those and you didn't really build anything with it but you can understand and follow any structure uh, on youtube or on udemy then you don't know how to do anything with those things that you are learning right so you are struggling with everything then you have the next phase which is the shark the shark can roll with anything with any kind of challenge you're giving and this is my goal to help you go from duck to shark in this video i'm going to give you a few examples of applications that you should be making and all you have to do literally is to attempt doing them i know again i'm saying this millions of times I know probably 99.99999% of you won't do it, but for that small percentage that's in there that will actually do these apps that I'm gonna show you, those apps will literally change your life. I'm gonna tell you a little story. When I was a beginner just like you, I was following along all these people, all these instructors and whatnot. I always felt like, hey, I understand what's happening in there, but I've never actually took the chance to actually try some of the stuff that I was learning about so after countless and countless of um, courses that I binge watched I decided okay now it's time to actually do something about this so guess what I tried doing that thing and I actually did that thing I created a few applications I started to build up my skills okay it's not about just creating applications but it's about building up your skills because you're building your skills and that's how you create applications so the applications that you have or your portfolio is going to be a reflection a direct reflection of your skills and i'm going to tell you something if you're a beginner right now you only see code 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 but if you want to make the big bucks you need to learn about something called system design so you need to know how to design gmail for example or how to design youtube or how to design facebook or how to design twitter you need to learn how to do those things and that comes after this phase of learning code and that's when the big bucks will come but today i'm not going to teach you about that or i'm going to show you a few javascript apps that you can try today to get you started okay so let's get into this whole thing and let me grab my mic and i'm going to share my screen all right guys so now this is my screen obviously and i'm going to show you a few code pens uh, that you can take inspiration from obviously do not search these code pens yourself and do not try to replicate them but get the idea behind it and give it an honest shot okay and try to make this on your own so these are some cool projects that i found on code pen and before i get into this I consider you intermediate if you are not ready to build like a huge application okay until that time i don't think you should be dealing with vs code i don't think you should be dealing with any of that i think you should be just focusing on code pen uh, removing all the like setups and whatnot getting in straight into code there's no need to set up an html file there's no need to set up a css file there's no need to set up a javascript file just get to work as fast as possible build a lot of things get comfortable with building get comfortable with writing get comfortable with solving problems get comfortable with solving bugs and you can do that very easily in codepen or code sandbox if you get into react later there's no need to uh set ups and whatnot get straight to work okay so that's why i'm showing you code pens to show you that hey you can create cool shit that you can learn from even in CodePen, okay? So just a disclaimer. The first thing that I wanna show you is this uh, model. So this is pretty cool. You have a few methods. You have the unfolding. So obviously this is some CSS. You set up some classes and whatnot. You add them, you remove them once you click on different things. Uh, this is gonna teach you how to work with events, 
adding, removing classes and whatnot, maybe timers. I haven't looked at the code, I just look at what's happening here, which this looks pretty sick. So I think you can take a day or two to try to create all these CSS classes and whatnot and see where you go. I think it's gonna be pretty sick, right? That's the first one. The next one, which is pretty important as well, is a credit card validator. So as a front-end developer, you'll be working with forms quite a lot. You need to learn how to validate strings, numbers, um, and whatnot, maybe true, false values. And this is gonna teach you exactly that, okay? Uh, you're gonna put in your first name, your last name, card number, you're gonna validate the date, the CCV as well. This one has a pretty cool animation when you click on CCV. So I guess if I type in one, two, three, I'm going to see one, two, three here. When I click off, so when I blur, He's gonna flip the card around so it teaches me or it teaches you how to work with the focus event which is when you click on the input and then it's gonna teach you how to work with the blur event which is when you click outside of the input then street address city zip code and then you have an email validation uh, field and here you know what you can do with the street address you can actually use an api if you know about that where you can validate the address so you don't put like random addresses in there you know that's the second application that you can build now, this is like a classic right now, the Pomodoro app. Um, this is gonna teach you, again, how to use events, timers, and things of that nature. And it's gonna give you a bit more perspective. All we want with these applications really is to get a bigger and a more wide perspective the more we create stuff. The purpose of one of these apps is not to get you a job, but is to give you perspective on what you could be doing. So now, for example, you have this timer. Now you might be thinking, maybe I can create in my application some sort of uh, interval, which is checking for some data about some cryptocurrency. Okay. Maybe in my credit card validation, I can create some sort of sign up form where I can validate, let's say an email address. And I'm going to use exactly this code that I learned about here, or maybe you need to create a, some sort of store where you take people's credit cards and whatnot and then you want to make sure that they are introducing the right values in there maybe you won't be doing that because you might be using stripe but i'm just saying like all big applications are made from small applications once you wrap your head around this you'll become unstoppable because if i tell you everything is a to-do app you need to trust me that everything is a to-do app the comment section on youtube by the way leave a comment if you like this video so far it's a to-do app you have a list, an array of objects. Each comment is an object. Then this object, which is a comment, has replies, which is an array of replies. And then each reply inside, there is a comment. There, that's an object, right? And the object has different properties, like the user, like the actual comment text they put in, the date, if it's liked by me or, or not, if it's liked by you or not, etc., etc. So when you start seeing the UI is in data and when you start seeing that everything is like a crazy to-do app, you'll start to have superpowers, okay? That, keep that in mind, okay? And the last thing that I wanna show you is this horizontal tab menu. You basically click on these different items and then you get a different slide, which is pretty sick if you ask me. Whoops, what did I click on? Matrix good good promo in there by the way i forgot uh subscribe for 10 percent squarespace using code christian <laughs> what was it squarespace or what's the name of the thing ah nordvpn <laughs> subscribe for nordvpn using my code and then the other one was what nordvpn squarespace and let me know in the comments what's the other one dollar shave club and there is another one let me know in the comments which one was the other thing that all youtubers are promoting there's like 10 percent off to learn something there is like a learning platform i forgot about it let me know in the comments if you know what it is all right so i hope you like this video now if you want to apply this stuff i'm gonna guarantee you it's gonna make wonders for you okay you'll be getting so much better than by just watching videos online. Trust me, bro. Trust me, been there, done that. You have to trust people with more experience. And if you want more help, okay, 
if you want to get to that position where you can make 80k a year or more by working remotely as a software developer i can help you with that and all you have to do is you have to apply for a free consultation call on my website the link for that is in the description of this video and we're gonna have a chat together if we are going to have that call and in this call i'm gonna show you exactly what you need to do to go from where you are in your current shoes all the way till that point where someone is gonna give you cash for your skill set and you'll start to enjoy the fruits of your labor okay you don't want to be wasting three years learning codes from random resources you want to do it properly because I don't know if you know this but software development is not a joke it's actually serious and if you don't do it right first of all you won't be hired and if you don't do it right a lot of people will lose because of the way you're doing things if you have a bunch of bugs in your applications and whatnot data can leak out in on the internet about your users and whatnot and then your company is going to be sued and then you'll have to take the blame but again i'm talking about like grim scenarios but can happen you never know if you don't know the fundamentals okay anyway um i'll see you in the next one peace